Nalo CSGO. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be looking at 10 things you may not have known about CSGO investing or just 10 tips about CSGO investing. You may have known some of these but hopefully I gathered some interesting little tidbits that you may have been unaware of. We're going to look at some tools and just some other general things about CSGO investing that you may not have known. So without further ado, let's hop right in. No sponsor on today's video but I do have a wide selection of links to different third party marketplaces that you can use and if you use the links it will support me directly. So get yourself some cool skins and help out to ya boy. Starting the list right off at number 10, we have the multi-cell feature. So some of you may have already known about multi-cell, but you may not have known about the multi-cell generator website. So multi-cell is basically just a way to sell a ton of items at once. If you're a seasoned collector or investor, you definitely already know about this feature, but it's basically something that's on CSGO's deep web. So you can't access it normally, but you can access it with a direct link. In my opinion, the best way to get this direct link is to go to multi-cell generator, which I'll have a link to in the description below. And from there, you can just load in different links to different stickers or things like that to add them all to a big long link and once you use that long link you'll be able to sell a huge amount of items at their buy order price so for example if you have like a huge sticker investment that you want to sell for steam balance you can use the multi-sell feature and you won't have to go and sell every little individual item so yeah i'm sure a lot of you have already known about this but it's sort of a lesser known fact about csgo investing Number nine is the eSport Fire Index. I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but this thing is just a really, really cool tool for CSGO investors. The eSport Fire Index is basically a stock index, but for CSGO items. Indexes are basically a way to look at an overall market or groups of a market rather than just individual items. eSport Fire has some great indexes on their website, ranging from all types of tournament stickers to a eSport Fire 300, which is basically just an index based on 300 pretty liquid skins that will give a pretty good representation of how the overall market is performing. This is an absolutely great tool for looking at the macro side of things in the CSGO market and figuring out if things are kind of in an upturn or a downturn. And I'm sure many of you did not know about this because it's a very new feature on their website. But yeah, there will be a link to this tool as well, so go check it out in the description below. Next up, number eight is going to be buy orders, but more specifically, how buy orders actually work. Buy orders are kind of a weirdly controversial thing in the community where not everyone actually knows how they work and there's actually a lot of debate on it, which is really odd because you can actually just figure out how they work by going to Steam's direct website. They have an FAQ for it, but once and for all to kind of clear up any confusion, the way that buy orders work is they select the oldest listing. So for example, if two people have a listing for three cents, but one person had the listing earlier, someone who lists the skin for three cents will go to the oldest buy order. It will not randomly select people. This change was done somewhat recently in 2017 because there were problems with people's currency since the currency conversion rate isn't perfect. But yeah, that's how they actually work. I wanted to add two more things here to this buy order section because buy orders are a very staple part of CSGO investing. For the first one, putting buy orders on stuff right when it releases is a really, really good idea. Even if you're putting the absolute minimum buy order, it's still a decent idea to put the minimum buy order up when an item first releases because you will be able to abuse the fact that buy orders go to the oldest listing. Getting early buy orders can help you snipe some skins for extremely cheap, so that's something you're going to want to try to do. Keep in mind it is very competitive though, so you'll have have to be really really quick. The next little tip is to occasionally place buy orders for really really old items that people have applied old stickers to commonly or for items that can have really interesting patterns like case hardens or glock emeralds for example. Occasionally buy orders will fulfill and you'll actually be able to get a very rare pattern or very rare stickers and since you're placing a buy order even if you don't get the rare stickers or the rare pattern you'll still be able to get it for pretty cheap. For the old items that commonly have old stickers applied to them you're looking at stuff like the dark water skins. The m 41 as guardian is also one that a lot people have applied stickers to in the past. So placing buy orders on these skins can be an interesting way to get some really cool stuff because people might come back to the game and find some item in their inventory that they don't really know the value of because they don't know how stickers work and then they just sell it and you scoop it up in the buy order. So maybe if you feel like you're a bit stagnant with your inventory value that could be something to try out. You're not really risking very much because you still get the item at a cheaper price due to it being a buy order. Moving away from features of different websites we're now going to talk about a more intangible thing and that is just having discussions with people. There are a wide variety of avenues to do this. One of the best ones is my Discord server if you want to go ahead and check it out. Link below. But other than my Discord server, there are a lot of places you can go to get different opinions on CSGO investing. 
There's a lot of big Twitter accounts. One that I like a lot is Ra. Ra's a very cool guy and a very smart dude. So you can check out his Twitter if you'd like. Xmercy occasionally posts some CSGO investing tips here and there. Or you can just use the subreddit for CSGO investing or their Discord server. But my main point is just make sure you're discussing stuff with people. Markets are based on the people that are in them. So just making sure you're talking to people and getting a lot of different opinions about things is going to be a good way to formulate and strengthen your own knowledge about CSGO investing. So that's what you should be doing and there's a bunch of avenues to it. So if you're not already doing it, get on it. The number six spot is going to go to quantity and demand analysis skills. So the main thing that affects prices of skins in CSGO is quantity of the skin and demand for that skin. That's how it works in large economies as well, but in CSGO these factors are especially important. In CSGO specifically, demand is the most important factor. A skin can have a large quantity, but if it has a huge amount of demand, it won't really matter how much quantity it has because people are going to push the price higher than the supply is able to keep up with. Or people are just off the bat going to value the item at a higher price because it has such a high desirability. One of the best displays of this is the coverts in a lot of the cases. There are many cases where both of the coverts have wildly differing prices, despite being the exact same rarity and despite having pretty much the exact same quantity over a large amount of time, the coverts can wildly differ in price because people desire one more than the other. Even in this most recent case, the recoil case, we have the USP print stream which commands a much, much higher price. This is a perfect example of how important demand is in CSGO, and kind of keeping your finger on the pulse and figuring out which items have the most demand and why is going to give you a huge advantage when picking out what items to invest into. Now as for quantity analysis, the only time this really comes in handy is with cases or with float based stuff. Quantity analysis is a lot less important overall in CSGO investing, unless you view CSGO investing through the tunnel visioned kinda it's only about cases mentality. Cases are obviously a pretty risk free thing to buy into if you know what you're doing. So it's a very, very popular topic, and there's a lot of people that only view CSGO investing as cases. But let's move on to the next one. After that long-winded one, we'll move on to number five, which is just the multiplication effect. So I'm sure a lot of you know about this one, but I guarantee some of you viewing don't actually know what this is. So basically the multiplication effect is essentially where you're taking advantage of a large quantity of items rather than just owning one item. The multiplication effect is kind of why people like case investing so much. It's because in buying a huge bulk amount of items, it gives you a better chance to take advantage of small changes in price. For example, if you have one skin that raises five cents versus a thousand items that raise five cents, you're going to make a lot more overall profit on the 1,000 items because that 5 cents raise is being multiplied over a 1,000 times. I'm going to go a bit more in depth about buying bulk items to take advantage of the multiplication effect, but this is definitely something you should do if you consider yourself a seasoned CSGO investor at all. The multiplication effect is a fantastic thing to take advantage of and there's so many ways to do it, and there's so many ways to do it with cases, capsules, or just stickers themselves. The number four tip is going to go to buying bulk, but particularly how to get it for a nice price. Now there are two ways that I would recommend doing this. First way is to trade someone for their bulk investment, and the second way is to just do a bulk buy on something like Buff or a different third party marketplace that you can find below. On Buff you'll get some extremely cheap prices and they have a bulk buy feature so you can just buy out an entire section of a market of items. But that one's not so complicated and I doubt you need an explanation for it, so now I'm going to talk about trading for bulk. Commonly people will invest in something and then after that investment goes up they'll want to actually trade the investment off as a bulk investment rather than selling it on the Steam marketplace because they'll have to incur fees. I did this one time with a large investment of shadow cases that I had. Once they decrued a little bit of value, I went ahead and traded off the bulk amount of them to a friend for a cheaper price. But in doing that, I was able to turn all of my bulk into just one skin, and I was able to cash in on the investment. And there are many people that are looking to do this all the time. You can just go to a variety of different forums, like Global Offensive Trade, for example, and from time to time, you'll see someone trying to cash out a large investment of items for one single skin. This is a good way to get things for cheap because people will usually take a much lower rate on those items due to it being a bulk amount of items. Alternatively, if you just want to get a bulk of items for a cheap price, you can just head over to Buff and use their bulk buy order. The number three is going to be a short one it's just making sure you figure out your terms of investment. This is something that I think some people overlook when they buy into something, but basically you're just going to want to make sure that you know how long you're going to want to hold something for. When you buy an investment, one of the things that should go into your decision process is how long you're holding on to the investment. If it's going to be short term, medium term, or long term. Long term items are going to be a lot different than short term items, but 
overall you're just going to want to make sure that you know exactly why you're buying the item and for how long. And that's the whole tip, pretty short. The number two spot is something that you can really dive into, but I'm just going to cover it generally, and that is spreadsheet investing. If you have a large amount of items or, or a large number of different types of investments, it can really help to have a spreadsheet set up that will essentially help you track how much you paid for the investment, how much quantity you have of the investment, how long you're holding the investment for, your target price, and your profit margins. There's ways to set up spreadsheets where they automatically will update, and there are many resources out there online to go get an automatically updating spreadsheet, so you really don't have much of an excuse not to make one. Really, this is only important for people who have a large number of investments, though, because it's pretty easy to track if you just have one or two investments. You can do this either on Google Sheets, or you can do it on Excel if you have Excel, or there are a variety of online resources for this as well. And finally, the number one spot. I wanted to put this one here because I do personally believe it's one of the most important factors for CSGO investing. And again, it's something that I'm sure a lot of you already knew, but there's probably a few of you that really didn't focus on this too much, and that is just garnering a large knowledge base. This is related to a ton of different things, but it's just generally the most important thing for investing. Knowing when all of the sales are going to happen, knowing when certain manipulation periods might occur, knowing when real world events might affect the price of skins, knowing the timing of when skins are sold the most or bought the most or when peak players are online. All those kind of things all factor into having a good general knowledge base about CSGO investing. And this is not really one that you can just get in a day. You can kind of go hard and research a lot of things. You're not really going to get that nice, wise, huge knowledge base unless you just invest a lot and learn from your successes and your mistakes. I know this is a really general one, but that's because it's really hard to kind of put this into words. But over time, by doing a lot of investing, you'll learn that having a large knowledge base and a deep pool of knowledge about CSGO investing is just a really good idea and a really good thing to have. Make sure you're not just piggybacking too much off of either my videos or other videos or other things you hear about. Form your own opinions because I'm not right 100% of the time. Nobody is. I just have some experience and that's what I'm sharing with you. And with that, that's going to be all of the tips, the best way that I can summarize them. If you want more information, I can help explain in the comments, so if you are still confused about one of these tips, leave a comment below. Also leave a like for the algorithm, I'm trying to get back on the grind of uploads, and likes are one of the major factors for helping the video get out there and shown to a lot of people, and it's a great way to support me for completely free and for almost zero time investment. Also if any of these tips helped you out, consider subscribing to the channel because I frequently post great CSGO investing videos and you can learn a lot from that. And if you want a great CSGO investing community to come hang out in, be sure to check out my Discord or my Twitter with the links in the description below. And to support me and give me some nice cool skins, you can also use my affiliate links in the description below as well. If you're planning to buy skins anyway, you might as well do it with my link. Helps me out. See you next time. Peace.